Example 7 says, given y equals f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, find the derivative of f of x at any point x comma f of x. So we want to find y prime, which is the same thing as f prime of x, which equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So I'm going to come off to the side here and find f of x plus h to be 3 times x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h plus 4, and that is equal to 3 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 4. I'm going to distribute that 3 in now, so we have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 4. Let's see if we can't combine any like terms. It does not look like it, so we're just going to leave it like that. And so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of that really long, ugly thing. I'm going to actually maybe let me write it up here because it's kind of long and ugly. 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h plus 4. And then I want to subtract off 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 all over h. Let's see if we can't cancel some stuff out. So 3x squared minus that 3x squared the minus 2x, if we distribute the negative sign in, will cancel out with that negative 2x and the 4 and the minus 4. So those all have canceled out. And now that equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h all over h. And that equals the limit as h goes to 0 of h times 6x plus 3h minus 2 all over h. This h and this h will divide. And so that equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 2. And if we plug in 0, that's just going to give us 6x minus 2. So our derivative function, you can call it f prime of x or y prime. Either of those work. Our derivative function is 6x minus 2. So I want to find the slope of the tangent line to the curve at the point 1, 5. And so I want to evaluate f prime of 1. And our derivative function was 6x minus 2, so I'm going to replace that x with a 1. So we get 6 minus 2, which equals 4. That means that our slope is equal to 4 when x equals 1. And so uh, that's basically it. The slope of the tangent line at the point 1 comma 5 is 4. Part C says the equation of the line tangent to f of x at 1 comma 5. So recall there are a couple of different ways that you can write a line. So you could write a line in the form y equals mx plus b. This is called slope-intercept form. And the more less commonly used form is called point slope form. So that's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is called point slope form. If you don't remember it from algebra, that's OK. You might have to do some refreshers. But those are the two forms that we uh, most commonly deal with for linear functions. There's also this, the one called standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So that is standard form. But we are going to work with the point-slope form. And so 
we have y minus our y value for the point. So this is x1 and this is y1. So we have y minus 5 equals our slope, which we calculated in the previous one, in the previous part, was 4, and then times x minus 1. And I can simplify that uh, if I wanted to. You could also leave your answer like this in point slope form, but if I wanted to change it to slope intercept form, I could distribute the 4 in and then add 5 to both sides, so we get 4x uh, plus 1. So you can leave your answer in either of these. So again, this is point slope form. And this one is called y-intercept form. And both are, are acceptable. I'm happy with either one. So I just really quickly wanted to illustrate. So I've gone ahead on Desmos and I've graphed my original function. And I've also graphed this, uh, this line that we calculated here, y equals 4x plus 1. So notice if I zoom in here, the blue line is the tangent line and the red line or the red curve is our graph. And it's, it's in fact matching up. Um, it's our tangent line at that point 1 comma 5. So this is just a way to kind of visually check that the answer that we got in that last part uh, is valid.